Hopefully the audio sounds pretty good on this one. I'm using this as sort of like a test run for commentaries. I decided not to stream today just to get a batch of gameplays done so that I can free myself up a little bit of time to play the Fantasy Star Online 2 beta, which should be dropping tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'll of course be streaming that, but let's talk about the commentary. I'm using Lucky Pants with a 110 hand cannon. So this is what it can do. Right there, that's the TTK. If I'm a little bit faster, then I can get a .25 TTK, like that. If I'm a little bit faster, I'm gonna get a .25 TTK. Not too shabby. I can also get Kill Clip. Let's dodge. Trip mine on the back. That was, that was good for him. If he didn't jump, he would have died. He also had someone on his back, so I was kind of hoping I could pick up the kill. There we go, the swap between the two to reduce the TTK. I can knife him if I need to. Start the kill clip. Now it's going to be one headshot to Ariana cleanup. If I had Ariana, oh my god, last word. I usually switch the last word when I see it, but he missed like the entire magazine, so I'm not worried about it. No, we don't. We chase this. Got it. I missed another shot. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. This is not an easy loadout to use. And sometimes it seems like a legally modded holster that's the Lucky Pants perk sort of locks out on you. And it's going to happen right here. Now we do the reverse. See, someone's got to want this power ammo. Trying to ricochet around him. I'm out of Ariana this time, I know. I thought I got that shot, so I just immediately started reloading. Sometimes that's a mistake. You know, to make sure you secure your kill, but when this reload is so, uh, what's the word? Punishing to hit. I like to uh, start it a little bit early. My rocket launcher actually locked out right there. Hunters like you blaze a path for the rest of us. Ready? We're just gonna hold the crouch. Okay, so we went up. Uh, that's way too hard of a trip mine shot to hit. I aimed a little bit to the left. Missed shots, not a big deal. Gonna trip mine this wall. Get ready with Ariana's. Yup. So aim's a little bad. First game of the day, really. So no warm up. No red on the radar? Unfortunate. I was ready to ricochet. Here we go. Headshot cleanup. He's out. That's a bastion. <laughs> Which by the way, I haven't unlocked that gun, but I'm really excited to. I want to hit some multi-swaps right now, so I'm going to give that a shot. My opening shot's gone. I see the shadow of the hunter. I might be able to get a double right here. Oh, what a shot. Okay. You saw what I was going for. It was actually on, pro on point. Like, if I hit him with the Arianas there, it was over. Not a single hip fire? Okay. Uh, trip mines are my favorite grenades for Gunslinger just because you can zone or use them as like a overhead spike. Of course you have to aim and hit those. Oh my gosh, I suck. But when you, when you hit them, it's such a satisfying feeling. Also elected to use Gambler's Dodge just because I like the throwing knives. Clearly I choked right there, but I thought he was going to hug the wall and not ape me down. So my fault. Bad read. I crouch this out. 
That's the combo right there. Now we reverse it. Ooh, crispy. Beautiful, that was a multi-swap. No, no more Ariana's, give me the knives. All right, so what I was doing right there is I was already starting the knife animation, so I could just whip to the left and hit all the knives in his face. So that's the secret to throwing knives is... On controller, it seems like the knives, you know, do a little bit of the aiming for you with the curving. On MK, you still get a little bit of that curving, I think. I'm, like, talking out of my ass here. But the best part about MK is that you can whip 180 degrees, look the opposite direction of you, start the throwing animation so you don't lunge at your opponent, and then whip back to where you were originally aiming so that you can hit the knives even though you are in close quarters. Now, this cue can actually be an eternity. Uh, SBMM has not been too kind to me in the past uh, couple of days, which is why I'm playing Rumble instead of uh, Control or Quick Play or whatever you want to call it. Like Both of the uh, 6v6 playlists are just not fun anymore. It it's weird. I hop into Rumble and consistently win a match, and sometimes I match whatever the annoying degenerate thing in the lobby is, and people leave, and so I don't get to play Rumble, but most of the time, I win Rumble regardless. I can try with the same level of effort and control and classic mix and never win a match. Like straight up dropping 40 plus kills, barely dying, even helping my teammates with support builds and still losing the match. I can't imagine that's fun for my teammates or my opponents really. <laughs> so I just hope something can be done to these two in the future. Like maybe whatever connection-based protocol there is for searching that needs to widen or shorten a little bit. In other words, what I want done is I want to match people with better connections. I don't, I'm not scared of good players. I'm scared of good players that are laggy. It is not fun. And with that out of the way, it looks like a match in progress. I'll see what I can do here. Probably gonna lose this one, but I'm not worried. Crouch it out. Wait for him to jump. If he wants to rush me down, he can rush me down. That was nice. Okay, maybe I've started to learn the slowdown. I'll hug this here. I'm actually going to wait for this guy to push. Trip mine on the wall. Ariana to the body. Or not. Three damage. I was robbed. Bad place to be. You can get farmed right here if someone's a really good shot with a snipe. Was about to say case in point, but I didn't get hit and shot yet. Nope, we out. Missed my shot, I deserve to die there. Okay, good, I'm out of the uh, school. Oh, I need a shoot to reload my gun. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna get it. Like I said. This gun is so unforgiving when it comes to the reload. I want that ammo. He knows I grabbed that ammo. Knives ready. He might have worm husked. Did not. Start the reload. Crouch it out. He knows I'm on the pillar. I got flinched off that. Trip mine on the back. I'm okay with this. Oh, he backed up, dude. I should have I should have fought the sniper instead. Kill clip active. I might be able to pick him up in the back. I need Icarus grip to come in clutch. It was wrong for me to swap to Ariana if I was just going to slide off that pillar cuz I want the in-air accuracy. What did he just die to? That a Lord of Wolves. Wait for auto loading holster to do its thing. We're going to pre-knife this doorway. Crouch on the pillar, he knows I'm on the pillar. I literally don't care about your barricade. Start this reload. If I can get some free knives back from just sliding into him, I want to do that. No knives. Use the barricade as my own cover. I couldn't get the shot. I needed to aim a little bit more down into the right as he slid. 
Uh, for the record, like, yeah, Lord of Wolves broken and whatnot. I don't consider it as degenerate as last word. Because a good sniper can shut you down. A good Lord of Wolves player, you just stay away from 13 meters. That can be done. Asking to flinch a sniper, that cannot be done. Might be able to flinch, or ricochet him? Wait, I could have picked up power. What am I doing? Oh, start this reload. Just chill. 120. Got it. And a headshot clean up this guy. He's got someone on his back. Alright, power it is. I want to kill the leader. So I'm going to ignore this guy for just a sec. If I get sniped in the back, I get sniped in the back. I need to stop the leader from farming. You have my respect, Hunter. Let's go find him. Here we go, someone's weak. Free kill clip. Crouch it out, get off radar. Headshot, body shot. So he's going the long way. That might have been a kill. Oh, you lived? Oh, what a melee, too. I figured that Warlock was pushing around the side so I could pick up a double there. Unfortunate. I guess that box really did save him. But it's kind of strange. I feel like sometimes people throw Blade Barrage into a concrete wall and it just doesn't do anything. But a box, apparently, is the unstoppable force, or immovable object. There we go, I had to actually aim in there. Start the reload. Chill, because I'm going to get shot in the back if I'm not quick. Okay, that was smart. He crouched to go off the radar when I thought he was going to backpedal. Uh, shotties are the absolute best thing in Rumble. Of course, the snipe can shut it down, but just the kill volume that you can free yourself up with. Let's see if I can kill this. I do 80 damage a headshot on that. He's going for someone else. So I'll just try to pick up this last kill. Yeah, I was kind of hoping somebody would super him. Uh, right there, the gun actually did not fire. Pulled the trigger, no fire. Don't be discouraged. There can be only one winner. Come back. Yeah, I didn't think I played badly there. So I hope you see the potential of this loadout. It's not like OP by any means, but it has a fun little skill gap to it. Of learning to pick it up, learning when to hot swap and go for the quad body shot. Or when to headshot cleanup, activate kill clip, and then do the reverse. Kill clip headshot cleanup, then Ariana body shot. You keep keep the uh, Arianas out, then you go Ariana headshot to Duke headshot. Rinse, repeat. It is so cool to do that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this commentary, and I will see you in the next one.